So begins a new chapter for Nassau County. Tonight, Nassau voted to end the culture of corruption. Democrat Laura Curran, the first woman elected county executive on Long Island, breaking a glass ceiling and vowing to break with the past. Today, please, let's start to build back the bonds of trust that have been badly frayed. Let's start reforming our government so it starts to work for those who pay for it. Voters say the transparency Curran promised is desperately needed. Now they'll hold her to it. I think that the county spoke last night. Saying? Saying we need change, we want change, we want an end to corruption. Corruption has got to end in Nassau County. It's been going on way too long. Her opponent, former state senator Jack Martins, also a corruption fighter, only today conceded defeat. Last night, the leader of the once unbeatable Nassau Republican machine conceded the party had been dealt a blow. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, there are certain circumstances and issues that are very, very hard to get over. Ever present in voters' minds, Ed Mangano leaving office amid corruption charges, and Dean Skelos, another fallen Nassau GOP favorite son. What can residents now expect under Curran? She says a total overhaul of county ethics, a fix to the property assessment system with more qualified assessors, and outreach to Republican county lawmakers still in control. It will be difficult for to get things done, but I think that the Republicans on the legislature saw the so-called handwriting on the wall and see that people obviously voted for change. And they can expect this election to go down as an historic shift in Nassau politics, America's first suburb electing its first woman leader to dismantle the status quo. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.